Hello everyone, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2021 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1 Question 28. Now 28, use of the data booklet is relevant to this question. An electrolysis cell is set up with an anode made up of an alloy of 75% copper and 25% nickel by mass and a cathode made of pure copper. So the electrolyte is 1.0 dm cube of a solution which contains 1.0 mole of nickel sulfate and 1.0 mole of copper sulfate. So a current of 0.50 ampere is passed through the cell for 1.5 hours. Question is asking what is the increase in the mass of the cathode. Of course, the topic tested in this question will be under electrochemistry involving electrolysis. So in order for us to determine the increase in the mass of the cathode, we actually need to know which species will be discharged at the cathode. So let us talk about it part by part. Now again, we will be making use of our Faraday's equation. The ones that are applicable in this case, we have two of them. The first one is Q equals to IT, charge equal to current times time. Second one is Q equals to number of mole of electron multiplied by Faraday's constant. And the value involving Faraday's constant is inside the data booklet. So since the question tells me the current and the time involved, so first thing we do is let us try to convert it to the number of mole of electron because once I have the number of mole of electron, the rest of the calculation will be effectively mole concept. So usually what I prefer to do is once I'm given information involving current and time or charge, I will try to quickly determine the number of mole of electron because once we reach mole of electron, it is involving a concept that we are very familiar with involving number of moles, then later we can compare mole ratio and we can determine whatever species that is being discharged at uh, whichever electrode that the question requires. So Q equals to IT, the current is 0 0.5 ampere, time is 1.5 hours, we convert it to seconds multiplied by 60 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds. So the quantity of charge involved during this process is 2700 coulomb. The next thing is we find the number of more of electrons involved. More of electrons will be charged over Faraday constant, 2700 over 96500. Again, the quantity of your Faraday's constant, it is inside the data booklet. So the more of electron involved is 2.798 times 10 to the power of minus two, which is a very small quantity. So let us try to determine the process that is taking place involving the reduction, because the question asks us to determine the increase in the mass of the cathode, which is reduction. So we actually don't really need to worry so much about the anode because anode is an alloy involving 75% copper and 25% nickel. So maybe the original concern might be, will I have to consider the oxidation for your alloy at the anode? So the next thing we have to do is we have to decide, okay, which species undergoes oxidation? Is it copper or is it nickel? But you notice for this question, since inside the electrolyte, I already have one mole per dm cube of nickel sulfate because the volume is one dm cube. And I also have one mole of your copper sulfate at one mole per dm cube. And the number of mole of electron involved is actually a very small quantity, 2.798 times 10 to the power of minus two. So it is less than one mole. And therefore, we don't need to be too concerned about the process at the anode. We only need to worry about what is the electrolyte, which is one mole of nickel two plus and one mole of your copper two plus. Then from there, we decide which species will undergo reduction at the cathode. Because we have more than enough nickel or copper to undergo reduction, since the number of mole of electrons involved is less than one, right? So let us continue and determine reduction. So involving reduction, there are two species. I have copper two plus and I have nickel two plus. The E value involving the reduction of copper two plus to copper and nickel two plus to nickel, the E values can be found in the data booklet. The reduction potential involving my copper two plus to copper, it is a positive 0.34 volt. Then the reduction potential involving your nickel two plus to nickel metal, it is a minus 0.25 volt. Now comparing reduction, we know that we have to consider comparing E value, the one with the more positive E value will be more likely reduced and therefore you undergo reduction. So what I do is I consider copper two plus versus nickel two plus plus 0.34 versus negative 0.25. Obviously positive 0.34 will be more positive. Then this means that copper two plus will be more likely reduced and therefore it will be reduced at the cathode. So reduction taking place at the cathode will be copper two plus plus two electron to copper. Then once I have the number of more of electron, previously determined, then I can compare mole ratio. 
and I can find number of mole of copper. So number of mole of copper based on the reduction half equation will be half times the number of mole of electron. Then this will work out to be 1.398 times 10 to the power of minus 2. So once I've determined the mole of copper that is being reduced, then I can also calculate the mass of copper deposited at the cathode, which will just be the number of mole multiplied by the atomic mass for copper. So this will give me a value which is 0.89 gram. So therefore the answer to this question will be C, 0.89 gram. All right, so that was the discussion involving this question for electrolysis. So if you have learned something useful, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.